Hey guys, uh, so what we have here is a parallel circuit. What we're going to do with this case is we're going to uh, use these verb charts once again. Uh, if you're joining us from watching the series circuit, uh, but we're going to use this verb chart to solve for a parallel circuit. Um, we have a 10 volt battery or power supply with a resistor for R1 of 5 ohms, R2 is 10 ohms, R3 is 15 ohms, and as you can see, I already filled in R5, R10, and R15 ohm for the resistances here. Now, we also see that we have a 10 volt battery, so we can go ahead and put 10 volts right there. Now, if we think back to rules of parallel circuits, we know that if we have 10 volts right here, that means this too will be 10 volts. This too will be 10 volts, and this will also be 10 volts because the voltage does not change in a parallel circuit. Okay, now, as I mentioned in the series of video, if you watch that one, in order to solve for anything, we need at least two things in the vertical column. So we have two things there, we have two things there, and two things there. Unlike series circuits, we can't just take our 5, our 10, and our 15 ohms and add them up for the total column. Uh, we know that resistance goes down in a parallel circuit, so we can't do that. Now, there are two ways to solve for the total resistance. I will show you one of them. First thing I want to do is let's go ahead and let's solve for the current at R1. Using Ohm's law of I equals V over R, let's solve for the current. Let's solve for I. So I equals 10 over 5. So calculation there. We go ahead and we get 2 amps. Let's do the same thing for R2. 10 over 10. Real tough math there. We get a current of 1 amp. Finally, let's do R3. 10 volts divided by 15 ohms. 10 over 15 is going to be 0.67 amps. Now, to find the total current, all we got to do is add up R1's current plus R2's current plus R3's current. We do that and we get 3.67 amps. Now we can go ahead and we can find the total resistance of this circuit using I equals V over R. We know the V, we know the I, let's solve for R. I, we said, was 3.67 equals V, which is 10, divided by our unknown resistance. I equals V over R. If we do our math and we cross multiply divide, we will get a total resistance of 2.72 ohms. Now, if you remember back to what we talked about, how we could just add up 5, 10, or 15 ohms because in a parallel circuit the resistance goes down, you can definitely see that 2.72 is a lot less than the sum you would get if you added up the 5, 10, and the 15. Last thing we need to do is go ahead and find out our powers. P is V times I. Let's go ahead and let's do power for R1 is V 10 times 2. Now, hopefully you do that math and you go ahead and you get 20 watts for the power at R1. Let's do the same thing for R2. We have... 10 volts times our 1 amp, 10 times 1, it's going to be 10 watts. Last but not least is our 3. We go ahead and do 10 times 0.67. 10 times 0.67 is going to be 6.7 watts. And then finally, let's go ahead and do our total as well. And for this case, we're going to take 10 times 3.67. If we do 10 times 3.67, we will get 36.7 watts. Now remember, there is the whole system of checking yourself to make sure that you are right. 
And what we can do here is add up these powers across the bottom row there. If 20 plus 10 plus 6.7 is 36.7, which it is, I mean, we know we did this correct. Okay? Hope that helps out. Good luck.